Well, here she is. This is my brand new do-it-yourself blade sharpening tool for your lawnmower blades. Uh, this is modeled after the All-American blade sharpener. Um, but there is a video on YouTube and I got to give a shout out to uh, the guy who made the video for the uh, $25 blade sharpener. And uh, yeah, he knocked it out of the park with his simple uh, design, again, modeled after the All-American Blade Sharpener. Now, I made some changes, but you know, one of his really good ideas was this clamp, real cheap on Amazon. I think I paid 12 bucks for four of these, and this thing works great. You can flip the blade around, and uh, in my case, I'm doing it a little bit different than he is, but it's still, it works the same way. Um, Let's look at a few other things. My blades suck, by the way. I hate these things. They're, uh, it's just what fits my crappy mower that I have. I have a Troy built 42 inch Mustang and it's just for my, just for my yard. I got a half acre and so I don't need a commercial machine to do my yard and I'm not in the lawn care business. So as you can see, the articulating arms I've got uh, are not they're not the half inch square steel tubing. Instead, it's, these are actual uh, rails that are off of a computer rack system. There was scrap metal that wasn't being used. It was gonna get thrown away. So I took a couple of rails, cut them up, grinded them up actually with this, <laughs> with one of the cutting discs. And uh, I've got this nice articulating arm. It's, it's beautiful. And, um, Let's just set this down right here and uh, we'll take a look at the block because it's, it's, it's essentially, it's essentially a four by four and you can see right there, that's where it attaches on the side and I don't think the placement is too critical. So, I mean, you can kind of just guesstimate where you want to put it. Um, but you can see I had notched out some wood there in the corner. That was because I had the blades too far down originally. And so I don't even think I really needed to do that. But let me set this back up again. Um, so right here I notched that out. And that was because originally I had the blade down here in the middle. And I kept running into the, to the corner here. But... Uh, yeah, you gotta, you gotta force this blade up and away from the corner here. And I think you're not going to have a problem. So real simple, just have the, uh, a uh, little small section of, uh, wood here. I think that's just pressed wood and it's like a quarter inch. Uh, this was a three quarter inch and I just shaved it down to approximately, that's yeah, a little bigger than quarter of an inch but uh, that just locks in there got your 32 degrees because the angle cut on the top of the 4x4 is 32 I, I angled mine back the whole 4x4 is angled backwards 40 degrees I think you know leaning it back a little bit more was just a little bit more comfortable so I just I like this setup it looks good uh, I did not use the socket in the middle because I've got the star which is another, I have no idea why they, you know, it's just is crappy. So you got the star, I'm stuck with it. So this is, I just drew a little picture of a star so I know kind of where, where it goes in there. And these two stop blocks, this one's just clamped in right now because I didn't know whether I wanted to use, or if I get some different blades, I might end up going to uh, a different width. You know, if I get something that's a little wider, then it's going to end up being out here. Might have to make some adjustments, but right now this whole thing is adjusted to run up and down. Uh, you can see it goes right down the center. I mean, that is right down the center right there. I mean, the point of the blade is dead center of the uh, the unit, so it, it works quite well. Um, I'll fire it up here in a minute. Uh, so the blades I have, 
I don't like because of this. Uh, it just looks like it's been swagged, just a crazy swag all the way into this thing. It's like just pressed into the blade, apparently to make it like stronger in some way. But uh, yeah, that just makes it so that when you put it on the table, and this, it just wobbles all over the place. So that is why I put in this wood piece that fits flat up against the bottom of the, uh, the blade and lined up like that. And where I've got the clamp, it seems to hold it in a good spot right there. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. But uh, let's give you a demo of this so you can see it working. These are brand, this is a brand new blade here. Uh, so I'm just gonna take the paint off of it so you can just see the kind of cut that it puts on it. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned it already, but the uh, flap disc I have on there, it's a, a 60 grit. I like that better. And especially since it's a new blade, I don't wanna take too much off of it. So uh, let's go ahead and fire this puppy up and I'm gonna readjust the camera. Grab this puppy, turn it on. Look at that, one pass, that looks good. And I'm not too concerned about this down here because uh, that's not uh, an important part of the blade. It's out here. And like I said, I just took the paint off, but that is making a perfect 32 degree angle on there. Very, very happy with that. I'm not going to change anything. You just flip the blade around, clamp her down, and same thing. I actually think that the uh, because of when they press this that the angle here is is steeper because you see how that that's not getting cut out so somehow this edge was never at the same angle so eventually this will get cut out to the same angle but uh, again not really worried about that as long as this is <laughs> at the 32 out here that's all I care about so there you have it uh, brand new blade uh, the sharpener works flawlessly i just i just love this thing and i can't wait for you guys to uh, give this a try yourself i will uh get another close-up shot here just so you can see it and um i'll just rotate it around this way so you can see it from this angle and that's it thank you for watching